This video is a part of a video series with three videos. In this video, we're going to familiarize you with some of the important wine bottles in the market. These bottles are called Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Côte de Provence bottles. We'll look at three things. Number one, why they're important. Number two, why they're designed the way they are. And number three, some of the wines that traditionally fill them. When it comes to the three video series, in a separate video, we'll take a close look at wine bottles, the big three, which are the Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace bottles. In yet another video, we'll take a quick look at all seven of the most popular bottles and learn the actual anatomy or parts of all wine bottles. By the end of the series, you're not only going to know more about wine bottles, you're going to find out about some of the beautifully delicious wines that go into each of those bottles. I'm relatively certain some of these will be wines many of you have never heard of. My hope is you'll begin to branch out and try many of them over time. You ready to get started? Wine bottles. Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Provence bottles. Our first bottle is the Champagne bottle. It's an oversized burgundy bottle. The Champagne bottle is typically olive green, which represents joy and happiness. It is sturdy, yet graceful. This bottle has a protruding ring or crown so that the wine cage has something to hold on to to keep the cork on. The cage plus the thick glass plus the gently sloping shoulders, the deep, thick punt are essential to keeping the bottle from exploding. <laughs> Did you notice how casual I was when I said exploding? Uh, the reality is the design is based on technical necessities as opposed to style. Uh, back in the early days before any of the added technical upgrades, champagne bottles used to explode during transportation or sometimes just while being stored or aged in underground cellars or caves. Champagne is a carbonated or sparkling wine with a pressure as high as 80 to 90 PSI. Now PSI is pounds per square inch. Uh, just to give you a point of reference, this pressure is three times the pressure inside a typical car tire. That's pretty explosive when punctured. That's why champagne spews all over the place if not open properly. In addition to champagne, you'll find all sorts of sparkling wines made all over the world in this type of bottle. You'll find mostly white wines or champagnes in this bottle, but there are also sparkling reds and rosés. Number two, our next bottle is a Rhone bottle. This bottle looks a lot like a burgundy bottle, just a little bit thinner and taller. It's often embossed with a coat of arms of the vineyard just below the neck. This style of bottle is used for Grenache, Movide, Syrah, and other grape varieties. Chateauneuf de Pop, which is my favorite, and Côtes de Rhone are two of the most famous wines of the Rhone region that uses this bottle. There are a number of New World countries and producers who bottle Syrah and Shiraz wines in this bottle just without the coats of arm, in addition to other several reds that are being bottled in this bottle. Our third bottle type is Fortified, or the Port type bottle. Actually, you can see some similarities to the Bordeaux bottle. It has a straight body with high rounded shoulders. Its most prominent attribute is the bulge in the neck. As you pour slowly, this prevents the sediment from being poured into the glass. Some of these bottles have a deep punt, which is used to collect and retain sediment in the bottom. The other distinctive aspect of this bottle is the use of a cork stopper, as opposed to a typically long cork. This bottle is used for a variety of fortified wines such as Madeira, Marsala, Vermouth, and of course, Port. The fourth bottle is the Provence bottle, or Côte de Provence. This bottle originated in the Provence region of France, which is in the southeast. This is home of France's lavender fields next to the Mediterranean Sea and the French Riviera. It's been around for about 100 years and is not going anywhere anytime soon. It has a distinctive form that is somewhere between an ancient amphora vessel and a bowling pin. Sort of an hourglass shape. This bottle is also called a corset by the French. Rosés, which herald from France, 
And with the growing popularity of rosés, we've seen many more of these bottles back in the market. That's our four important wine bottles for this video. Make sure you check out the other two videos in this series. By the way, it's worth mentioning, all seven of the bottles we're looking at in the three video series cover about 95% of all wine bottles out there. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about Champagne, Rhone, Fortified, and Coste de Provence bottles, and the wines that go in them. If you've enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new videos that come out every single week and give it a like if you liked it. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. And most importantly, ring the bell to be notified when I post other videos. Folks, I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on Facebook at Asti Wine Consultants, Instagram at Asti Wine Consultants. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for some wonderful wines, check out my website, www.astywines.com.